Hello everybody and welcome to my 51st VBA tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use a calendar on your user forms. Um, so the point of this tutorial is not really to show you how to use a calendar, it's, put, it's going to open your eyes to how you can take out a lot more controls from your toolbox. So let, let's start a new user form and on here I just want it so you select a date so let's put a little label please select a date and let's just change our back colour um, and I quite like that red in that last tutorial so I'm going to use that and I'm also going to change my text alignment to centre um, and let's just make it a bit bigger as well. So let's make our font bigger too. Do, do, do. Bold 16. Please select a date. And then we want to put a calendar in, but you might be looking at here and thinking, oh, there's no calendar control. Um, you might have it on yours, I don't have it on mine at the moment. So what we want to do is we just want to right click on here and we want to go to additional controls. And then on here, this is a list of all the different controls you can use. Um, so I, I'm not going to show you all of them, as you probably expect. Uh, but what I'm going to do, if, if you just tick calendar control 11.0 and press OK, and then you'll notice that it's got this new calendar tool come on here. And then if we click and drag this, and then we're going to get this beautiful little calendar come on that we're able to use. Um, and then what we're going to do is they're going to select a date, and then we're just going to tell them how many days it is until that date. Um, so selecting a date is quite simple, they just click on it, if we press play then it's going to select a day and a month and a year and then you notice that if we go into the um, the value where's value, let's go to alphabetic um, <laughs> So first of all you have to actually select <laughs> the calendar to find the value. Um, if we go to the value and then say 15th of the 6th 2013 um, and then by default it's just going to be set to today. So what we want to do is we just want to have a you select a date, put a command button in and we want that to say calculate and then we want it to go uh, user form free dot calendar one dot value minus date and that's going to be our calculation for how many days there's going to be. And then let's just put day gap equals, let's actually declare day gap, so dim day gap as integer. And then we just want a message box out. So message box uh, are ampersand day gap ampersand days between your day until your selected date. Um, and so hopefully this will work now. So if we click on a date, click on the 19th, calculated, there are 18 days until your selected date. So that's right, 20th, 19 days. 
If we go back a year, it's going to tell us 19 days as well because we haven't actually selected one. Minus 352 days. Um, so that's quite a nifty little thing. Um, and that's how you take the value out of a calendar. And um, you can also set the value of it. So let's say when we initialize the user form, we always want it to be equal to today. So you just go to view code, user form. Uh, where's initialize? Initialize. So we can just go user form dot calendar dot value and not minus date we want equals date and then whenever we open it up it's just going to default to the current date so that's quite useful as well um, so that's going to be it for calendar tutorials um, if we go back just because what I really wanted to go into was the additional controls right click here on additional controls you can see that there's a whole gang of them um, and you can use quite a lot of different things in here that are really useful and if you're ever unsure of them just uh, just google them and there'll be something explaining how to do them so that's going to be it for this tutorial uh, in the next tutorial we're going to go into a few different events you can do, do on a user form uh, so that's going to be it for now thanks for listening and I hope to catch you 